Everyone has a favorite Notes app. Tools like Apple Notes, Notion, and they're great, but these tools were around before AI and now they have AI bolted on. So this makes me wonder, what do next gen note-taking tools look like when they're built with AI in mind? Not as an add-on, but as a core feature. In this video, we're exploring five of the most promising new tools on the market, and we're going to answer the important question, are these tools the future for writers, creators, and entrepreneurs? All right, let's get into it. Number five, voice notes. This is an AI-first note-taking tool that approaches notes from a completely new angle. It's a tool I genuinely use every day. Ever had a brilliant idea while driving or in the shower? Not the best time to write something down. That's exactly the problem this tool solves. The core functionality seems almost too simple at first. You speak and voice notes instantly transcribes your thoughts with amazing accuracy. But here's where it gets interesting. What happens after transcription is where the magic kicks in for this tool. Imagine speaking for two minutes about an idea and with just one click, the AI automatically transcribes action items you didn't even realize you mentioned, or maybe it writes an email for you from your transcript. It's amazing. You can select any voice note and transform it into literally anything in seconds. And this is just the beginning of voice notes. The feature that completely changed my workflow is called Ask AI. Think of it as having a conversation with your past self. Ever wondered what was that brilliant idea I had last week? Instead of scrolling endlessly through your notes, you just ask and the answer appears instantly. Last week, you had several innovative ideas. I should also mention, I've discovered I'm significantly less filtered when speaking compared to writing, which means I probably capture like 30% more valuable ideas that would otherwise be lost if I was typing something out. That's just one of the ways that it's been extremely valuable for me. Okay, this next one is Saner, an AI note-taking assistant built specifically for people with ADHD. What immediately stands out about Saner to me is how simple it looks. It's a clean, distraction-free interface. Unlike tools like Obsidian or Notion that overwhelm you with features, Saner takes the opposite approach, stripping away everything that might pull your focus. On Saner's homepage, we can add quick ideas to our daily note or tasks, but we also get quick access to our inbox and recent notes. I particularly like that we see a preview of the notes content here. One of my favorite features is how they've done their inbox. This is for new unorganized notes. Do you see this Sky suggestion box? Sky is Saner's AI and it's suggesting a better title, a folder, and several tags. I can edit what I want and then click apply and done. This might be my favorite feature inside of Saner, honestly. I wish I could just set this to auto run and let it organize everything for me. Every notes app should just have this now. Sky does more than just organize your notes. It actually helps you synthesize and connect ideas across everything you save. You can chat with your entire library of notes or select a few for context. You can also choose other premium AI models like Cloud 3.7 or GPT 4.0. It's a simple all-in-one option and I genuinely love it. This next tool is specifically for people who consume a lot of content and want really powerful summarization. Maybe you're a researcher or a student or just a curious human. Recall takes traditional note-taking and transforms it into an active knowledge building process. It's a note-taking tool that prioritizes capturing content and then helping you remember it. It's really good at summarizing, but with their cards, you can also manually add notes. If you use the browser extension as you browse the web, Recall can instantly summarize any content that you encounter so YouTube videos, articles, even recipes. And it goes further than that. It doesn't just summarize, it categorizes and connects everything automatically. As you're saving new cards, Recall is building your personal knowledge graph. Every piece of content or note you take gets analyzed, tagged, and linked to related information you've previously saved. Their newest feature, Augmented Browsing, allows you to take full advantage of this knowledge graph. Let me show you. As you browse the web, Recall resurfaces relevant content from your knowledge base right when you need it. So cards you saved months ago show up as inline text on the page, like hyperlinks. You can see what you've already learned about and topics you've discovered previously, and then you can find connections you were completely unaware of. Recall is the perfect middle ground between easy to use and powerful. I think you'll love it. Now I want to show you potentially the smartest note-taking tool on the market. Number two, this is Tana. And this video wouldn't be complete without talking about it. Tana might be the ultimate AI note-taking tool, honestly. It can just be a simple outliner for you, or you can create the most insane AI-first note-taking workspace 
imaginable if you're into that tana is an entirely new idea so let me just lay it out for you in tana there are no documents yeah just nodes let me explain every line of text is essentially its own document then every node can be given super tags essentially normal tags but with properties and you can combine them together on a single node because sometimes an idea is also a task right? Tagging a node with both super tags combines the unique properties of both. And now we get to combine this new powerful format with AI. You can chat with your notes, generate summaries, transcribe your voice, autofill a node's property fields, and do way more complex things that are beyond the scope of this video. I also have to mention that their mobile capture app, it's it's remarkable. It prioritizes voice transcription so you can capture ideas anywhere and connect them to a super tag. Now, there is a learning curve here. If you just need basic notes, this might feel like using a rocket ship to go grocery shopping, but don't let that scare you. You can still use it as a simple outliner with a daily note. Definitely worth checking out. Okay, this might be a controversial number one, simply because the tool is so new. Some important features are still in development, but with that in mind, let me introduce you to Cortex. I'm putting it at number one because I think it might just be the best AI note-taking tool right now for actually synthesizing your ideas and highlights into something you can publish, you know, actually being productive. And it's in a simple, easy to use interface. For starters, the design is amazing. It feels like what would happen if Obsidian and Notion had a baby, but unlike its parents, Cortex was built from the ground up with AI integration at its core. Now, Cortex is an opinionated tool. It's basically giving you a creation system designed by Dan Ko who has an amazing YouTube channel. So it might not be for everyone, but I suggest you approach it with an open mind because it might make you extremely productive. Okay, so let's look at this. At the top is their capture system. Let's say you have an idea for something you're already working on. Cortex lets you immediately attach it as context so those ideas are connected to your work. No more losing ideas. The standout AI feature is something they call Kai, their built-in AI assistant. This isn't just another chatbot. This AI can easily be connected to your notes for context. You can link it to your writing style guide or a particular prompt you've saved very easily so that it can use them. Next is the library. This is where you save content you've found for a reference. I love how it lives in its own section separate from what you write yourself. The library integrates with Readwise, one of my other favorite tools. This way you can import all of your highlights automatically. Now let's talk about how it all really connects. The actual writing system is where Cortex really shines. Everything we've just covered is connected, searchable, and accessible when you need it. You'll never have to stare at a blank page waiting for inspiration again because your best ideas and your favorite ones from other people are all right here ready to be used. In the document, there are some Notion style features you'll probably like. Specifically, the element feature is like callouts in Notion, add a library reference related to what I'm working on, and then prompt it to write about the reference in my style, all in just a few clicks. It's just all easy. Now, is Cortex perfect yet? No, but for creators, writers, and entrepreneurs who want an AI that actually enhances their creative process, Cortex might be exactly what you've been looking for. All right, that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what other tools I forgot about. I'm sure I missed something. I'm not perfect. If you want to go deeper, join my new Substack. It's called Accelerant. It shows you how to take full advantage of AI. I promise you'll love it. The link is in the description below. I'll throw some other videos up on the screen. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Godspeed.